All right, y'all. Derek from Jiganama's Outdoors here. Out here with our second place winners for the day, Brad and Tim. Gonna go over, over a few things. So what tips and what techniques did you guys use today to catch that big weight you had today? We used uh, the 10 foot ACC crappie sticks with the pink 16, look at that, you wanna look at that? 16 ounce head. And almost every one of them was caught on a bass assassin spring minnow. Oh wow, you hear him in there kicking? Fishing some thick, heavy matted cover, pencil reeds. What else we catching in the day? A little bit of hyacinth. A little bit of hyacinth, a little bit of everything. Mix of grass. Hey, this first crappie tournament I ever fished in my life. Did yeah, good. Yeah, with a start. From Kentucky. I mean, if, if he'd had somebody local, it wouldn't even been close. <laughs> but I had some help. Did you all That's good. Kentucky That's Kentucky connection. I had to That's good. That. But he did catch the biggest one today. <laughs> there you go. Oh, That's all you, you had to do. Started fishing. Did you start catching fish immediately, or did you have to jump around a few times? We first? had 25 or 30 in the first 45 minutes. We had about 45 yards. Dang. Yards. Yeah. Y'all got on them quick. 40, 50 yards, we had 25 to 30 fish right off the bat. Now, there's um, Brad's uncle. So once you guys <laughs> caught your first 25 fish, do you, is there something different that you do to try to key in on bigger fish? No, we were we were keying on an early bite, right off a hard edge, before they moved into the thick cover. And then um, once they moved in, we just uh, moved locations and went to some scattered stuff and fished some stuff that were just a little bit denser and uh, found the bigger females. They were in that denser vegetation. They went in the real thick matted stuff. Okay. And um, that's about it. I mean, we stayed in the dense covers where all the big girls come from. We could get in the thicker stuff and catch a bunch of bunch of fish. Mm -hmm. We knew we could. Every time we go inside and catch- a males. In yeah. the thick stuff, we catch all the males. We come mm. outside to the dense stuff and catch the females every time. Mm. Uh, every fish I weighed in was a female while we go. Yeah. And that box right there is full of males. And every time we go inside, we catch the males. Hmm. Okay. All right. Once again, I'm staging up. Getting ready to spawn. Getting ready. ready. So, how many more months you think before they're really in their, you know, like full spawn mode? I say another next moon. Next moon. Next moon. Next moon they're gonna be hammering. Couple weeks, right? A week or two yeah. Uh, yeah. Three away. Weeks. Three weeks or so they're gonna be hammering. Lockdown. Y'all hear that now? Eating like crazy. He giving you the game. Y'all love to follow me everywhere else. G3 Outfitters right here in the flesh. Brad and Tim, once again, our second place winners for today's tournament. What'd you say, Tim? Kentucky Connection? Kentucky Connection. There you Kentucky go. Connection. Yeah, Kentucky Connection. And not, not Louisville either. We're All right. right up there and close to Lexington. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> racehorse catfish. Racehorse, yeah. Thoroughbred. Uh, Brad, Brad's just got to give me some more tips. For us to break over in the first, I did all I could do. I just didn't have right. enough to break break him over the edge. Well, right. hey, you could do it. You got all the opportunity next month. Yeah, I, I'm just right I'm on just time. Training. You yep. back January 23rd for the next one? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think we'll I'm see. off that weekend. It's a long drive though. Hey, you oh. told me years ago, all this shit works sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. At some point, that's a fact. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Jiggin' Numbers Outdoors. All right. Thank you.